Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna attempt to turn this old Toshiba laptop into a server. Now servers can store things just like cloud storage. So my idea is I can put files or pictures onto this laptop and access them from any device. So this laptop is the Toshiba Satellite C40D-A and I actually just found this at home. So it seems like it's in pretty good condition. Now I actually cleaned this laptop and I also opened it and I cleaned it on the inside. So the fan should be really clean. So it's already running Windows 10. It actually came with Windows 8, but I updated it. And to make it into a server, I'm gonna use a free program that's open source, which is called FreeNAS. And I think it's actually called something different since it had an update. Yeah, so I was right. It's actually called TrueNAS instead of FreeNAS. Now I'm going to download it, and to install it, you'll actually need a USB. So I have a 16GB USB over here, just a standard one, since this laptop doesn't have USB Type-C. So after a few hours of trying, I figured out I wasn't able to install the program since I was doing it the wrong way. So I just added in this voiceover while editing the video so you have an idea of why the video just suddenly jumps to the next part. After a lot of trial and error, it still doesn't work, and I figured out I need to write the file to the USB stick. So you're not just supposed to drag it to the USB stick. So I'm going to do that and try again. So this time, I'm going to use a program called Rufus to add it to the USB. So I'm going to select my TrueNAS file. There we go. Okay. And start. We got a warning, okay. So it'll take a while. And I think this is a loading bar, so it should show the progress. Allow internet access. We'll just block that for now. So while the laptop is writing the image, I'm gonna go to the other laptop and prepare it. So we're gonna do the advanced startup again. And this time, it should work. If not, then this video will probably never be uploaded, so you won't actually see it. Okay, it says it's ready. So let's get the USB, plug it in over here on the other side, and use the device. It works, okay. So we're gonna boot the TrueNAS installer. Okay, we're gonna install it onto this drive. That's actually the only one. All right. So we're using a SATA. Enter your root password. Cancel for no root password. Okay, we're gonna cancel that. How do we cancel? Um, cancel. So after a lot of trial and error, it looks like it works. So as you can see, there's an IP address here that I'm covering. And I'm going to use that to log in on my other laptop. So I figured out that the laptop needs to be plugged in to the Wi-Fi network for it to work. So I brought it outside and plugged it in to my uninterruptible power supply so it would slow power in case of a power outage and I plug it into my Wi-Fi using a LAN cable. Wow, it works. So this thing that's blurred over here is actually the IP address and it is blurred it so nobody can hack me. But as you can see, we have our CPU usage and temperature. And this is the CPU inside that Toshiba laptop. There's also the memory and there's a lot of other options on the left. So we have account, system, tasks, network, storage, directory services, sharing, services, plugins, jails, reporting. You can even put virtual machines and display system processes, shell, and a guide. Let's take a look at the shell. Okay. I'm assuming we can type help. Will that do anything? Oh, never mind. It doesn't. But on Windows, you can actually type help and we'll display some options. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe for more, and to help support my channel, and thanks for watching.